Hello, and welcome back to The Wild Report. As always, my name is Cleo, I'm your host, and let's see what's going on in the Adirondacks today. It's almost Adirondack Water Week. Starting tomorrow, August 5th through August 14th, people all across the Adirondack Park will be celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Clean Water Act, and we'll be celebrating here at the Wild Center too. Stop by this week for water-related activities such as fly fishing demonstrations, paper making, and water-themed animal programs and canoe trips. Water is a huge part of life here in the Adirondacks and everywhere, so come celebrate it with us. Now, let's go to Kathleen with the weekly weather report. Hello everyone, my name is Kathleen and I'm back with the weather for this upcoming week at the Wild Center here in Tupper Lake. So unfortunately, it's going to be a stormy week this week, so make sure you're keeping an eye on the radar. Luckily, there's a lot to see uh, inside the Wild Center and still outside if you're willing to brave the weather. Just be prepared. Now on to this week's flower spotlight. To my right and behind me, finally blooming here in the mid-summer, is bergamot. This is specifically wild bergamot. It's a type of bee balm flower. You might guess that the name is because bees absolutely love this flower. Um, it can be a pretty popular uh, garden variety. And those of you who enjoy tea might know, in your Earl Grey, bergamot is the flower flavor additive that they put in there to give it its nice rounded flavor. These flowers are also 100% edible by people. That's why you see them in our teas. So these plants, not only do they smell nice, taste nice, and act as great uh, resources for pollinators, especially bees, but they are beautiful to look at. Thanks for joining me for this plant spotlight. In this week's viral animal video, our animal care staff reacts to a video of two lynxes behaving unusually. His ears are back, or her ears are back, so she's not too happy. <laughs> it looks like, okay, I'm, I'm just having a standoff here. I wonder what's the, 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 head, the head thing. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know lynx behavior very well. No, 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 no. I would not say it's courtship. No. <laughs> I think they're, they're I like trying how, to get the... They got really intense and the camera person was like, whoa! You flinched like they did. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a, you're in my territory thing, but I don't want to get hurt, so why don't you just back off? <laughs> now, let's check in with our ravens. Hi folks, Leah Valerio, curator here at the Wild Center with a little update on our ravens. We have two ravens that call the Wild Center home. We have Cora and Onyx. And they both have a little bit of an upper respiratory infection right now. Just like we get colds, animals can too. So we're working really hard on treating them. They're both on antibiotics and uh, we're doing everything we can to make sure they're healthy and they're actually both um, doing pretty well. So antibiotics are helping. We're refurbishing their habitat and hopefully pretty soon they'll both be on the mend. The answer to last week's trivia question is the Wild Center has two ravens. Cora and Onyx. Today's trivia question is what percent of the world's fish are freshwater fish? Put your answers in the comments below and check back next week for the correct answer. Have a great week and don't forget to stay wild. <laughs>